what up, players? Subscribe! What up, players? What about stay up in this mode? Got this Space Marine Captain decked out to lead my third company, Captain Machiavi, as the fluff says. I magnetized the arms at the shoulders, so this is one option that I'm thinking of giving him. Since he's going to be riding with the assault guys in the Rhino, I gave him Death Company legs because they have this cool tabard and there's no big X to mark that he's that he's a Death Company. I gave him this Death Company shoulder pad because it's got the Blood Angels insignia and it's also got a great little parchment that I'm going to write his name on. I gave him a head, Dark the Death Company head. No baldies! And I gave him a Thunder Hammer. The Thunder Hammer is also from the Death Company frame and it's got the blood drop and bionic arm. So, Iron Halos on the back. Uh, everything else is from the Space Commander frame. Oh, no, this shoulder pad is from the regular Assault Marine frame. Um, because if I don't use this, if I use something else, I didn't want to waste two shoulder pads on on this. And I think the more thematic side is this shoulder pad anyway with the Blood Angels iconography and with him just charging forward. You're not really going to see this side. So I'm just going to put the company marking, the company badge, and these... Let's see... What else is there gonna be? Okay, I think this is it. So this is the first part of my uh, of my Blood Angels Captain video. I'm gonna take him away and get him painted up. But a question I have for you guys in the community while I'm doing that is what else is a good what else is a good option for the captain who's going in with the assault company? If I do a full squad of nine assault marines, all in a rhino, plus him, the captain. What other weapons can I kit him out with? Because I'm, I'm planning on giving the assault the assault squad the Infernus pistols to help them, because they're Melta, to help them in close range. But uh, I, I, I don't really know, because I don't really play the game, play 40k, I just do what looks good. So the, I thought the Thunder Hammer looks good, I thought him running forward about to, you know, Juggernaut smash someone with the Thunder Hammer was a good choice. And I just don't know how else to kit him, what else I can magnetize him. That would be worth my time to magnetize and to paint up. So, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, what's up, players? Captain Machiavi, commander of the third company, is done. Kind of showed you in the last part of this video what parts I used to make him. So this is him with his thunder hammer. I magnetized the thunder hammer so I can switch it out with other equipment. And uh, yeah, please let me know what what else you found works for equipping your space marine commander. And I'll see if I can get that on him. It's all the battle damage on his armor. Third company is always in the thick of the fighting so for this battle group I decided that the fluff is that they've been campaigning for a very long time haven't been back to Baal their home world to refit um, yeah but their equipment is all you know battered and beaten up but I kind of want them to do my blood angels different from the, the normal really bright reds and and really pristine look. I wanted them to look really beaten up and battle damaged, just like the Rhino. If you didn't see from my last video. Something different I tried with the face. Let's get in a little bit closer. Is that... Okay, this is as far as we can go. The, these Death Company heads, the detail is fantastic. It's really, really good. I was able to do the eyes up as well as you know my skill allows and the I, I gave him bags under his eyes by painting a little bit of 
Leviathan purple underneath the eye, eye eyebrows, or not eyebrows, but the, you know, the bottom part of the eyelids, and it came out really well. I mean, you can't even see it on this camera, but in real life, when you get up right up there, it, it looks pretty, pretty sweet. I used a 0 0.005 micron pen to write out Machiavelli's name in that pseudo gothic script. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions about this mini or anything else, let me know. Oh, is arms coming off. Mm. There we go. Yeah, I'm really happy with them. And I used a transfer for this blood drop. I want to show you something for all of my blood drop transfers for the Space Marine transfer sheet. The Blood Angels blood drops come in yellow and so the third company insignia is a white teardrop or blood drop like on their Rhino. The, the one I showed you from the last video is white as well. I'm gonna reach over and pick it up. So what, what I did was I painted up the insignia with denim stone. Did this for the back of the rhino and for the um, my ghetto rhino that everyone's telling me I built wrong because I, I totally did. But I painted the insignia white after I put the transfer on. So I did that with the captain as well. I paint, I put it on and then I painted it white with denim stone. And here's the, I'm not, I wasn't sure what to put on his right knee pad, but because the Rhino is going to be transporting the seventh squad, which is an assault squad, I decided to paint up the knee pad like he's leading the assault squad into battle. And this is the insignia for the seventh squad of the company. Okay, let me know what you think. Please comment, rate, subscribe, like. I mean, they don't do ratings anymore. And then just for posterity, I'm gonna show you what is. The center looks like without. See, I put the magnets in the arms. And uh, it's really hard to do with one hand, but there you go. Yeah, let me know what you think. Still trying to decide what else to do on the base. I think I might add some razor wire or pieces of rock or slate. Um, definitely don't want to do any green shrubbery or, or grass or anything. I kind of want it to look like a desert world or a, or a, or a, a world where there's lots of war and like a moon maybe. Or um, yeah, some kind of desolate battlefield. Anyway, just kind of wasting time now, rambling on and on. Um, but just want to say how great the Death Company frame is for all the bits and body pieces you can plunder and put on different models. It's really fantastic. For the fluff, I decided that Captain Machiavelli's purity seal is a list of names and deeds of his successors, the commanders of Third Company before him. Alright, that's the end of this video, so we'll see you in the next one.